Welcome viewers. In this video, we will see the potential due to charged disk and charged ring. First, we will see the potential due to the charged disk. Now, we have a, a disk of radius A meter is available that is uniformly charged with a surface charge density of sigma coulomb per meter square. So, this charged disk is nothing but a, like a compact disk CD. Entire surface the charges are available. So, we are using this surface charge density sigma coulomb per meter square. Now, we will refer this diagram. So, we have the ring is disk is available with radius a meters. The ring is the disk is assumed to be having several rings of increasing radius. For example, starting from zero, there are small rings are available keep on increases the radius of the ring keep on increases up to going up to radius of the disc so in this we consider one ring with a radius with a distance d meter right the disc the disc with radius is a we are assuming that the ring is formed with several rings of increasing radius in this we consider one ring at a distance x meter the thickness is dx our aim is to find the potential at this point P, which is at a height of h meter from the center of the disk. Our aim is to find this potential at this point P, which is located at a height of h meter from the center of the ring. The distance between the small segment and point P is r meters. So, this triangle is drawn separately. It will be used during the calculation h x and r this triangle is drawn separately this is a perpendicular here we have we are using the surface charge density so sigma equal to d q divided by ds we are assuming entire surface of the disc so d q by ds from that d q equal to sigma into ds the d q can be represented as sigma into ds right so that description is given The disk is assumed to be having several rings of increasing radius that is from 0 to A there are so many rings are available in that we consider one ring at x meter with a thickness of dx. So our aim is to find the potential at this point P which is at a distance h meter right. Now, we will we'll, we'll take this dv is the potential at this point p. The v is the total potential, dv is the potential due to small ring dx. So, that the v become dv, right. Now, the potential is given by v equal to q divided by 4 pi epsilon r, the general formula for potential is v equal to q divided by 4 pi epsilon r. Now, we consider only small charge so that v become dv, dv equal to dq divided by 4 pi epsilon r. But dq is nothing but sigma into ds, surface charge density. So, dv equal to sigma ds divided by 4 pi epsilon r. After substituting all the value, we got this expression. Now, we will see the surface area. Surface area is pi r square. Now, we are having x so that it is pi x square. Surface area of the ring or disc. Differentiate on the both the side. So, ds equal to pi. The differentiation of x square is 2x dx. So, it can be written as 2 pi x dx. ds is nothing but 2 pi x dx. Now, this ds is substituted in the previous equation dv equal to sigma 2 pi x dx divided by 4 pi epsilon r. So, this 2 pi and 4 pi got cancelled the 2 is there. So, sigma x dx divided by 2 epsilon r. Right. So, after substituting the surface area we got this value. Now, we will go for the further simplification. 
sigma x dx divided by 2 pi epsilon r the r square from the triangle based on the Pythagoras theorem we can write r square equal to x square plus h square that is r equal to square root of x square plus h square so we can replace this r with this value so that we got dv equal to sigma x dx divided by 2 epsilon square root of x square plus h square but this is the due to only small charge and small potential then the total potential i will get the total potential the total potential due to the entire disk can be obtained by integration with a limit 0 to a what is 0 to a that is radius of the disk we assume that there are n number of increasing radius rings are available this that rings are increasing from 0 to maximum radius of a so the limit is from 0 to a right so that integral by integrating on both the side dv integral dv equal to integral 0 to a sigma x dx divided by 2 epsilon square root of x square plus h square integral dv is v so 0 to a this value you take this is equation number 1 now the integration with respect to dx the x is available both in numerator as well as denominator right the x is available in numerator as well as denominator we can use u by v method but on alternate we have substitution method is available we can substitute this value so that it will be easier you can do by u by, u by v method also now we will go with substitution method that is somewhat easier compared with u by, u by v method so in this substitution method we are going to substitute x square plus h square equal to t square that is we are changing substituting x as a t we are changing the value from x from t right so x square plus h square equal to t square so differentiate on both sides so that 2x dx equal to 2t dt this h is constant so that only we have 2x dx 2t dt the 2 2 got cancelled so x dx equal to t dt so x ds can be substituted with t dt so that x value will be trans substituted as t value right so from this the t can be written as the t square is this value so t equal to square root of x square plus h square now we have two limits available x equal to 0 and x equal to a that also transfer into t terms because now we transfer the x into t so that this limit also should be changed into t term now substitute x equal to 0 in this expression in this expression so t equal to square root of 0 plus h square that is nothing but square root of h square is h t equal to h so for x equal to 0 the corresponding lower limit is t equal to h right now the limit also transfer into t term similarly upper limit x equal to 0 substitute the 0 x equal to a substitute here x equal to a so that t equal to square root of a square plus h square now the upper limit also transfer into t term right so this is the lower limit corresponding to t this is the upper limit corresponding to t this will be the substitution x dx can be replaced by t dt now we will replace this value up lower limit and upper limit in the equation 1 right all these values are substituted in equation 1 right so 0 to a sigma x dx divided by 2 epsilon square root of x square plus h square is the equation 1 now we'll replace this 0 as a h because lower limit 0 the equivalent limit will be h for upper limit a the equivalent will be a square plus h square sigma this x dx is nothing but t dt we got the previously so the x dx is t dt divided by 2 epsilon what is this square root of x square plus h square that is nothing but t right so now it is simplified this t t got cancelled so this sigma by 2 epsilon is constant so integral 
lower limit is h upper limit is square root of a square plus h square into dt now see this the uh, integration become very simpler because of substitution method it is simplified so integral dt is nothing but t so integral dt is nothing but t i can substitute the limit so sigma divided by 2 epsilon the upper limit e square root of a square plus h square minus lower limit h so this is the final expression for potential due to the charged disk right whereby by using the substitution method it is easily we got the final expression now we will see the potential due to charged ring previously a disk is completed now we will go to the charged ring how the ring is formed a thin wire is bent in the form of circular ring one thin wire is available two ends are joined together and form the circular ring right so the length of the wire is nothing but circumference of the ring right lengthy wire is brought into two ends are contact together and form the circular ring due to the lengthy wire we are using linear charge density lambda equal to dq by dl from that we cross multiply this dq equal to lambda into dl because of lengthy wire what we are having linear charge density lambda referring the length of the wire now we'll see the diagram so this is nothing but the ring so the lengthy wire is there the two ends are joined together and form the ring the radius is a meters what is our aim i need to find the potential at this point p which is at a height of h meter from the center of the ring our aim is to find the potential at this point p now consider one small segment dl l is the total length dl means small segment the distance between this small segment and point p is r meters right this angle will be theta d theta theta is the angle d theta is the the small angle right so the we have the ring is available with the radius a we are going to find the potential at this point p which is at a height of h meter we are consider one small segment the distance between small segment and point p is r meter right so that description is given here it is uniformly charged with a charge density lambda coulomb per meter because of lengthy wire it is lambda coulomb per meter what is our aim to find the potential at point p which is height of h meter from the center of the ring the ring is assumed to be having several point charges because of lengthy wire normally we have point charges now we'll consider this dv v is the potential dv means small potential due to the small segment dl right now we'll go to the derivation we know that v equal to q divided by 4 pi epsilon r general formula for potential is q divided by 4 pi epsilon r so due to small charge dq the v become dv so dv equal to dq divided by 4 pi epsilon r right now the dq can be replaced by lambda into dl so dv equal to lambda dl divided by 4 pi epsilon r so this is due to small length this is due to small potential so by integrating on both the side we will get the total potential so integral dv equal to integral lambda into dl divided by 4 pi epsilon r right so we will see this side so integral dv is nothing but v the lambda divided by 4 pi epsilon r is constant only we have integral dl what is integral dl integral dl is nothing but l length what is the length length is nothing but circumference of the ring because lengthy wire is bent in the form of ring so the circumference of the ring is nothing but the length of the wire so that is given here 2 pi a so integral dl is l l is nothing but circumference that is nothing but 2 pi a so that v equal to lambda divided by 4 pi epsilon r this dl is replaced as 2 pi a 
so the 4 pi is there here 2 pi is there got cancelled so lambda a divided by 2 epsilon r so the final value will be after cancelling this what we got v equal to lambda a divided by 2 epsilon r this is the final expression for potential due to the charged ring right so in this video we, we saw the potential due to charged disk as well as charged ring